What's up, Bayo Digimon fans? Ketchup's back, and you need to go away. You need to go away, Greymon. Uh, I am here making my first actual video for the channel because I wanted to go ahead and get my first video out of the way before I could figure out what to do next, and because um because I haven't really seen many people do this yet or done it, you know, the way I would. I'm going to review this. Just gonna go ahead and make a good toy review of this because I haven't had a chance to do it on my um, blog review channel thing yet. So I decided to make it my first video for this channel. So AO let me it dust. AO let me uh, review this for his first AO Digimon show a couple like what months ago or something. And he wanted me like to compact it down to like a minute, so I just kind of rushed through it. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on this guy. So now, yeah, I got this thing off of Amazon for like 20 bucks in uh, June, I think it was. Um, I got it from a toy company in Alaska. Don't ask. That's the only place that had it. So yeah, 20 bucks off Amazon. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I don't think you can get this on Amazon anymore because this one was like the one of the last two they had. And it's actually kind of hard to get like a Dolulumon and Belistamon. I think the only ones you can really get now are the, the Domimon one. I think that's the only one that's on Amazon anymore. This thing sold quick. Pretty fast, actually. And um, with Digimon Cross Wars coming to America with Fusion and all that, I hope we get these and not like specially made for American ones because I would kind of like to have the others like this. And what kind of irritates me, though, I know I'm getting a little off topic here, but is that they didn't make toys for the Death Generals and Hunters. So, we never got, like, Omega Shoutmon, Zeke Greymon, Bagramon, Gumdramon, Restadramon, etc., etc. And I'm actually kind of disappointed in that. Because I think the last one they released was the, uh, the Dark Nightmon dual pack that came with... What Skull Knight Mon and Deadly Axe Mon, and that's one of the ones I would like to get to. But that one's really expensive for some reason. It's like fifty bucks. So back to Shoutmon here. I'm gonna review like everything from like outside in. So here we got a picture of the guy. He does come with the Star Mon and the Pick Mon, and the official artwork for Shoutmon right there. Bandai, Toei got their little logo up there, and I like this, that they have, nah, stupid reflection, that they have the old artwork stuck up there, and it says it's the first in the series, and uh, yes, if you do get, like, Greymon or something, this will be the Blue Flare logo instead of the Cross Heart logo, and the same if you get, like, Diamondmon and Dark Nightmon, it'll be the Twilight logo up there, so that was a pretty nice touch to the box, and, uh, what the heck is that to? Oh, Digimon Cross War series up there. And you can see here, yes, these do come with a Digi memory, and we get Agumon. And uh, funny story about this: when I was watching Cross Wars, and when I was looking at the pictures for the thing before I bought it, it completely flew over my head for whatever stupid reason that they used the original uh, card game artwork for uh, uh, Agumon and the rest of the Digi memory. I don't know why it took me so long to catch that, but when I first noticed it, I was freaking out because that's kind of nostalgic for me. I've been collecting the cards and everything since they first started. And I somehow still know how to play the game, although the rules were kind of weird at times. So, nothing special on the bottom, big deal. On the side here, we have official artwork for Cross 4. Over here, we have advertisements for. Balistamon, Dorulumon, and what Cross 4 looks like put together. Now, yeah, these are combiners. Basically, you just put them together, etc., etc., nothing fancy. Now, here's one thing that I like about Japan instead of America. Is that instead of putting that annoying little piece of paper that's folded up in the box, 
they put it on they put the instructions on the back and I like that it shows what all comes with it how you do this and what you do with the digi memory and everything etc etc pretty cool packaging this one I like that and plus the box and hole because I hate how they do it over here in America with like the little cardboard sheet and like the little little casing on it and then when you open it up you can't really put it back in a box so the box is ripped in half so here you can just like open it up and you stick it back in when you're done with it I love that thank you Japan so let's get to the little guy himself come out and let's see here another thing I like very very good packaging. I know I'm kissing up the packaging a lot, but I'm not used to getting toys, you know, packaged so clean <laughs> and easy to put back in the box. Alright, so let's take this little guy out. Ba -dum -ba -dum. It's Shotman himself. He's a little tiny guy. He looks he looks a lot better in person than he does here. Now, the thing about this is, like I said, they're transformers or combiners or something. You pull this out, okay, and then you take like the back end of his microphone, just cross for his head because like the V would be sticking out of Belistamon's front, like this, for like how cross four is, and this head would stick out like that. So that's what that's for. This is also like the back part of the microphone. I'll show that in a little bit. So how does he move? Well, his arms move. His arms move. They also rotate. I'm moving them in the wrong direction. They rotate. You know, simple stuff. His feet move pretty good. His mouth even opens. Nom, 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 nom. So that's, that's basically all he can do. Like moving around wise, but it's still pretty good. He's a really, really nice looking figure. I'm, I'm glad I got this guy. He's really cool. So, now on to the accessories. Here's the mic. This goes on like that. And then you can just stick this in his hand. And it's ginormous on him. Like, It's really goofy looking on him. But, you know, there's a reason why it's big. And I'll, I'll show that off in a little bit. Just so I can get it out of his hand without breaking his arm. Don't be like that, shout line. Of course, it has to do this when I'm on camera. <laughs> there we go. Stay there, good boy. Starmon. Simple, right? The sunglasses, got the handle for a mouth. Nothing special. And now we've got a little Pikmon. Here is. Oh, good, the camera does show pretty well. This is the little tan baby chibi looking one. Here is like the big, the, the reddish orange brown one that always flexes his muscles. And I think it was called Red Pikmon or something. And then here are two of the little silver ones with sunglasses. And how this works is that you just stick them on top like this. And put red Pikmon on top, and there's your Star Blade, and that also can go into his hand. But Starmon's so fat that sometimes Shoutmon's nose won't let you put it in his hand. 
Eh, whatever. That's that's about what it looks like. It's it's too big for Shout Mod also. So what you will end up doing let me see if I can do this right. Hold on a second. So why you're supposed to be able to do this. I think you're supposed to take the mic top off. I think. Don't quote me on this. No. <laughs> Not even close. I haven't actually done this yet. Okay. So you're supposed to stick that in the back like that. And this is the star blade for cross four and cross five. You just stick that into the back of Starmon like that and then you get this. And like I said, the, the mic and the sword are huge on Shoutmon, but this is tiny for cross four and cross five. I've seen pictures of it and it looks really weird having like a little dinky star blade. But it's all good. So all in all, I, I like the guy. He's he was he was a good twenty bucks. Really well spent. I'm glad I was able to get a hold of him while I could. Uh, if you've been thinking about getting any of these, go for it. Now I don't know what like any of the others are because it's the only one I was able to get my hands on. Uh, but if you are able to get your hands on him and you weren't sure about like how, you know how good it looked or how sturdy it was or anything, I'd recommend it. A little good close up before I. I would like a Hunter's designed one also because I like that design of him. Alright, so I'd recommend them for anybody that's even considering getting one, like in general. So, if you got any questions about him or. Oh. I forgot something. There's the Digi memory of the Agumon artwork. See that the card game artwork, and that's on the back. And yeah, these can be used in the cross loader that you can get separately. Um, I I've, I hope that comes over here to America too, because I want to get my hands on that. It's like a little, a little SD card type thing. But I'm glad it's. My second favorite Digimon of all time comes with a Digimon memory of my favorite Digimon of all time. So it made it even more worth it. So yeah, if you got any questions or thoughts or just want to say anything about it, go ahead. I don't mind. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.